What's up guys, I'm Cabrutus and it looks like the Japanese are starting to make some mistakes. I mean, not starting, but they want to double down this DEI bullshit. I uh, will be ready for that, right? So, learning the law, no, Mr. Learning the law. I don't, I don't know the guy behind the account, but he seems to be a nice person and he's being very supportive to all the anti-DEI stuff uh, since the beginning. In fact, I was already a follower of his uh, Twitter page, you know, his Twitter profile scenes, you know, I mean, even way before I created the Sweet Baby Detected uh, Greater page. There's a profile, you know, he's a based guy, you know, he he posts lots of, you know, interesting stuff about video games and pop culture. So, and he sent me this. No, I, I wasn't aware of this. I mean, I, I'm i sorry, you know, I've been very, you know, off for the internet in the, in the past week, past few days, mostly because I was playing Wukong. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a gamer after all, right? So I, I was I was just no I, I couldn't even I couldn't pay attention to anything else. Okay, so uh let's proceed. But I now call the DEI from gathering to Twitter demands support and process of ship, yada 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 the Japanese companies are now corrupt. I wouldn't say that Japanese companies are now corrupt, but I mean this is something to worry about, that's for sure. So let's see. Oh yeah, he's showing some screenshots. Yeah, the ex what, what is the next gen there, dude? What? Um, what's the next gen there? I thought that we that we only had. Okay, I don't even try to understand this. They already have entire localized appliance censorship or in the female character's anatomy. <laughs> yeah, so he's talking about this uh Bandai Namco uh conference. Looks like, and I went to the Niche Gamer website, you know, when Niche Gamer has wrote about this. This is something that I should have been writing about myself too, but I don't know, I guess it's kind of too late now, right? Let's take a look. When I now go discuss the DI initiatives, a representative from Bandai Noko recently rose to host the panel discussing, okay, the diversity of I mean, isn't it funny how the Japanese are so late to the party, you know? We, we, we see companies, you know, Western companies running away from the DEI acronym, like, you know, a vampire runs away you know, from the cross of uh, some garlic. Now they are, you know, starting to embrace it. I mean, I wouldn't say they. I mean, I mean it's just Bandai Namco. I, I mean, I didn't even read uh, the entire thing. I, I'm just getting started to know about this. I'm learning about this. In this video right now, but I would say, I, I, if I if I had to bet, I would say that it has strong influences on coming from the Bandai Namco US and Europe. Both of them, or at least one of them. Let's keep reading and let's see. A very secret includes your policies have come under fire recent months after concern of quality. Uh, yes, okay, that's I me mean, exactly what I've been talking about. It's probably one of the most widely recognized game companies in the world, Miss Okuma Mirai. From Bandai Namco Express, the company's desire to expose their games to a wide variety of players. So just release them day and date to every single platform, and they'll release them for Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, in the whole world, the same day and date, period. Even, even mobile, bro, release it for iPhones and Androids. That that's how that's how you expose your game to wider to a wider variety of players, huh? One of the examples Miss uh, Okuma gives is the addition of Dreadlock hairstyles to Blue Protocol. Oh, Blue Protocol, the game that just got canceled. I mean, the game that it didn't even come out in the West, and you guys already canceled it, and it's going to get shut down here uh, in, in Japan too. Oh, okay, that game, yeah? Okay, that game, I, I see, I see. Which is something they hadn't considered... <laughs> Fine, I mean, I wouldn't say... Okay, before giving up, let me go to... Oh, I want money to Blue Protocol announce its end service in Japan, it's not global release of being... Yes, exactly. Uh, according to a recap of the panel from Japanese side for a gamer, Bandai Namco has gone out and sharing DI programs and articles among internal staff saying Information about DI was also shared with the Bandai Namco group. Bandai Namco Entertainment in particular has strong ties with bases in the United States and Europe. There we go. I, I just I just said like a few a few seconds ago, right? I bet that it has something to do with United States and Europe branch. There we go, right there. Uh, and handles a large number of titles, so it seems that they were able to obtain useful information and knowledge. Hmm. 
Not exactly. This doesn't come from the Japanese. Okay, just to make it very clear. When you guys see, for example, Capcom uh, is censoring the uh, Dead Rising uh, Deluxe Remastered. I am 100% sure that those things come from you know, the Capcom US. The Japanese, they are not aware of you know, the Western bullshit that is happening uh, over the world you know, in the past, I don't know, decade or so. I know this because I live in Japan and I, you know, I see that they have no idea about this. So when there are branches, you know, uh, in those, you know, the, their offices in those countries tell them, hey, if you want to sell your game more, you must do this, 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 this here in the, in, in, in the I mean, for, for its release in, here in the United States slash Europe, otherwise it's not going to sell well. It's basically this, you no. Know? Otherwise, people won't accept it well. Otherwise, it's gonna face backlash from you know, the gamers and you know, probably the the journalists, you no, know, the gaming media, which is not wrong, you no. Know, fortunately, and well, that's it. And they just trust their their their, their analytics, you no. Know? They they trust their their their, their offices, their branches, the professionals that they have hired in those countries and that they are telling them this. They should take a look at what Wukong just did and learn with that, you no? Know? A game that didn't give a shit about ever anything and sold 10 million copies in less than three days. By the way, I finished it and it's an awesome game. I'll talk more about I'll talk more about Wukong game uh, in a future video. Okay, so continuing. So come on, went on defend localization practices explaining English and Western societies are as low context due to the mutual multiculturalism. All context, I'm not sure what it means. On the other hand, Western culture is low context. What is low context, bro? I, I don't know. Starts from a place of no common understanding and placing emphasis on verbal expression, which is due to the fact that Western countries are multi ethnic countries with immigrants and other factors. Not every Western country, but okay. I mean, if she's talking mostly about the United States, then yeah, it's it's true. Therefore, it was shown that simply translating Japanese lines and explanation to the local language might not be interpreted well due to a lack of words. But what, what? I mean, okay, okay. She. It doesn't look like she's talking about you no know, censoring the text or you no. Know, it didn't look like this for me. I mean, based on this um, sentence you know, alone. This is part of the fact that English speaking consumers are expected to trust localizers to provide an authentic product respecting the creator's vision and intentions. With fans responding positively when transla translations are done faithfully. Hmm. I I'm not sure what, what is she is trying to say. She's trying to say that they need to change the because it's gonna offend people, or is she trying to say that they need to to explain better things, be to give more context because uh, Japanese words. I mean, because this is true, you know. I mean, Japanese people sometimes they speak too little, but they want to say a lot. Maybe that's 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 why. I mean, I, I'm kind of confused. I gotta be honest. I, I'm not sure what she, what, of what she's trying to say. Uh, in the coming months, we'll see how Bandai Namco intends to remain represent these new values. Yes, yes. Uh, that's that's what I was about to say. Let's be honest here. Okay, this is concerning. You know the di yada yada yada. Fine, but like I told you guys, this comes from you know, United States and Europe. So she is probably you know just you know repeating something, some text you know that some of those professionals from those countries uh, told them to say. And hey, if they think that if their understanding of DI is putting a dreadlock hairstyle option in game, then fine. No, I wouldn't worry about it well let's see let's see how much those you know I, i'm still i'm still skeptical you no know? i i'm st i still don't I, st I i gotta be honest guys i still don't know what to expect from this of course we're gonna be watching gonna be paying attention you no know, every single um bandai nanko game that comes out you know we gotta we gotta watch it closely we gotta we gotta pay attention and we gotta react accordingly you know if there's di bullshit into it Going to, it's gonna go to the list, and mm, this is sad news. Nonetheless, no, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make this look look like it's not a big deal. I'm just saying that uh, I really, really do not know what to expect from this. It's confusing, you know. It's it's very confusing. Let's wait and see. 
And hey, if you guys like my work and you know, want to help the kids to keep the channel going on, check the links in the description. Consider becoming a member over buy me a coffee or even making me a donation over there. Or if you want or you prefer, you can make a donation over the VIDetected.com website. All the links are going to be in the description of this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.